Presence Project. The Presence Project is simple, repeatable tools, ancient Christian contemplative practices, modern brain science. This is episode 71, and I'm your host, Summer Joy Gross. I'm an Anglican priest, a spiritual director, and my greatest joy is helping people find home base in the heart of God. This episode is day one of a private seven-day podcast devotional called Welcome Home, a gift for anyone who pre-orders the Emmanuel Promise. On April 30th, my book, The Emmanuel Promise, will be slipped into mailboxes and stacked on bookshelves around the country. It's an invitation to set down shame and recognize that your attachment story, your earliest relationship with your caregiver, may be what's obstructing your relationship with God. Your caregivers were human, limited, living with their own broken and imperfect story. God's love is lavish, compassionate, perfect. But since our neural pathways for relationships were created in those first three years with our caregiver, our brains have to be rewired to perfect love. Throughout the book, I make this as Monday morning practical as possible. Your pre-orders are essential for helping the Emmanuel promise find the hands that are supposed to hold it. Those who are being invited onto this journey of a secure attachment with God. If you'd like to be on my launch team, pre-order the book, sign up for the pre-orders, and come to the live Zooms on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern in April, where I'll teach the book, Lead us in a time of soaking in God's attachment love and have some fun giveaways. And obviously, also invite you to tell the good news of the Emmanuel Promise. I'll tell you a little bit more about joining the launch team at the end of this episode. Now for day one of Welcome Home. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. When you walked into the room as a child, how did your dad greet you? Imagine your dad after work sitting in the corner behind a stack of paperwork on his desk Now, you peek around the corner and yell, Daddy! What happens? What does his face look like? Do you come in and jump onto his lap? Do you wonder if he heard you? Does he scowl? Does he put his index finger up, letting you know he doesn't have time right now? Now, imagine walking into a room where God is at work. What happens? Does he put out his hand and ask you to wait because he's busy? Or does his face light up as he holds out his arms and welcomes you with eagerness? Next, visualize walking toward God the Father with the brokenness of your sin in your arms. The aftermath of your rage still knotted in your stomach, your computer with pornography still open, Jack Daniel still on your breath, your words slurring as you stumble forward. Tell me what his face looks like now. The prodigal son was expecting full-on wrath. He had humiliated his dad, asking for his inheritance even before his father's death. And now he was crawling back home hungry after gambling away his dad's legacy in a Middle Eastern Vegas. 
He could no longer afford even a four for four from Wendy's. He got a job at a pig farm and spent his days smelling like pig slop as he considered sharing their food before laying down to sleep. In complete desperation, the prodigal limped home, remembering his dad's servants didn't have to root through the trash for supper. As he got closer, he rehearsed what he was going to say, fully expecting to hear an I told you so or get out of my sight. He expected a face turned away. But instead, his father's face looked like a sunrise, full of complete and utter joy, nothing but welcome. Before the son could even repent, his father threw a coat over his son's dirty jeans and t-shirt and phoned home for steaks to be put on the grill. He was expecting wrath, but instead he saw his dad running toward him. Having never looked away, he was expecting anger, but received a welcome home son. Next week, on April 8th, I'm starting four weeks of teaching the Emmanuel Promise live on Zoom at 7 p.m. Eastern to a special launch team who will be tasked with sharing the good news of the Emmanuel Promise. You'll receive the entire book digitally And each week, I'm going to invite whoever would like to, to share a picture of their attachment caregiver and tell a little of that story, even if just in a few sentences, even if you just like to show the picture. That would be a lovely gift or a lovely way to be a part of this as well. There will also be giveaways, including a clinging cross, a bronze statue of hands, which for me is a wonderful way to pray and remember that God is holding what I'm concerned with that day, as well as the beautiful landscape art of Lori Whitaker. On week one, I'll teach about secure attachment, insecure, anxious attachment, and invite us to soak in God's presence. Week two, I'll teach about insecure avoidant attachment, disorganized attachment, and the practices and truths that begin to heal these attachment wounds. Week Three, I'll invite us to start thinking about the spiritual practices that I've included in the Emmanuel Promise, and I'd love to hear about the practices that have been meaningful to you that are not included. And then week four will be a launch party, and we'll bring party hats, and we'll celebrate, and there will be giveaways, and you can ask all the questions about writing and publishing a book that you'd like to ask. You can join the launch team after you've ordered the book and by clicking on the page to receive pre-order gifts, including this seven-day devotional podcast, Welcome Home. Also, would you pray for me this month? You may watch other authors launch a book and not realize that they have a whole team of people behind them. Pray that I know when to work and when to rest. Pray protection over my family. We're going through a number of transitions, including my daughter who's graduating in May. Pray for our health. Pray for those especially who will receive this book in their hands on April 30th, that the Holy Spirit will get them ready for this message. Thank you again for listening to the Presence Project podcast. It is such a privilege to walk beside you, even if just in your ears, for a few minutes. Now, friends, may you know today that you are being held in the hollow of God's hand.